Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial where I will show you how you can build the slicer panel in Power BI report or dashboard. So I will be using one of the previously created reports like um, HR analytics dashboard or organization diversity dashboard any of the one I can use or you can you know go and pick up any of the dashboard that we have created or your own dashboard. But the whole idea is that how we can save some space within our report or dashboard by having a different location or basically uh, hide or show custom way your all your slicers. So that is something what I will going to show you where you can build the slicer panel and uh, uh, through some custom configuration you can hide it or show it whenever you need it. So that way you have entire space for visuals but for multiple filters you have a different section altogether which is not taking a space in your report or dashboard. And uh, before I move ahead if you have landed very first time on my channel then I want to show, just give you this information that this Google Sheet or the link of this Google Sheet is present in the description through which you can come over here in this Google Sheet and view all of my previously published tutorials. That way you can do easily search any of my decks or visual or dashboard related tutorial and using the column, the link present in the column B, you can easily jump to that tutorial. So that's something uh, to make your experience good. Uh, to find any video related to the Power BI on my channel. With that information, let's go to the Power BI. So here we are in the Power BI and as you can see, I have picked up the diversity dashboard that I have shown earlier. And over here we have these, uh, these basically some of these uh, filters, right? If I click here, I can see whether how the remote employee or the employee who are at headquarters are present. Now just think about this, we have these two filters related to the location, but if you have, if you want to have more filters, for example, if I go over here, you have like location city, location state, right? And you have the termination date. Let's say if all of these different, uh, you know, filters you want to show, probably at one point of time, you will run out of this space, right? So how you can basically take this of these filters into a single panel right and uh, easily uh, show or hide it whenever you need it right so for that I will show you in a step-by-step -step manner how you can do that so first of all what we need is a panel or basically a box so I will go into the shapes I can choose any of the shapes so let me just choose this rectangle right and I will just increase its size a little bit uh, I will maybe put it over here right and I can reduce the size let's see a little bit like this one I go into the format shape move into the style I choose the color which is matching this theme right and I will let's say make it 30 percent transparent right so that's the number one thing what I will do related to my panel so this is the base of the panel now what we have is these two um, slicers right so for that i will bring the first slicer here and i will bring the second slicer here right and as you can see the slicer are going back because panel is basically coming in the front of it so how we can change this is by going into the view going into the selection and here we bring down the shape below to the slicers and now your slicers are coming up front so if i just click outside you will see that slicers are now look looks like you know they are imposed or they are above the panel okay now when i have these two probably i'll just give them some space right and let me just add maybe one more slicer so if i just click outside click here on the slicer and I'll just choose the field let's say the city or state so I'll state I will select right all of these state okay I am will bring it down here and I will just keep it like as it is right and I will bring this up okay 
So suppose these are some of these filters that we have. I will just string it here. And suppose all of these filters are now what we have it over here. So we have this three slicers and the shapes, right? So what we need to do now is uh, if I just click on shape, I will just have to group all of these. So if I click outside, I will first select, I will hold down my control key, select this, select this, select this, and select the finally the panel, right? Right click and say group. Okay. So now a group has been created, which I can double click and say, this is all my slicer panel, right? So we are pretty much halfway through, uh, but what we need is one more information is uh, a button which can hide it. So if I go into the insert button and I can choose reset or back, let's say I choose the back button, right? I will just put it here. Okay. Right. And uh, action is enabled. We will enable action in a minute. But what we need to do is we need to, so we have, so this, this is already now a part of the slicer panel as I have created when the slicer panel was selected. Okay. So we have this, right. Once the panel is being created, what we need to do is uh, we need to add two different bookmarks. Okay. So what I'll do is I will just hide this visualization panel by going into the view and uh, I have the selection. I can just put it like this and I will enable the bookmark. Okay. So the bookmark is that my slicer panel is selected and I will click on add the bookmark and I will say show slicer panel. Oops. Mistake. P A panel. So one is the show slicer panel and uh, another one is the hide slicer panel. So once I click on this, this will, I will just add and this will, this state will going to be Hide. So what, I, what I'm doing is just recording the state with the help of the bookmark hide slicer panel. One thing we need to make sure when I was experimenting it with that uh, we don't, we just want to show, capture the show or hide state, but not the data, right? So I just need to uncheck this. I need to come here and uncheck this. What that mean is if I am Cap, if this data is enabled and some selection is already being made or right now no selection is being made, then whenever I will press any button like back button or show slicer button, it will going to remove all of my filters, right? So you want to make sure that whatever state you are leaving with, let's say you have selected a particular location and you have hidden the filter. You don't want that filter to just unselect everything. So for that reason, just make sure that data is unchecked. Okay. So we have this now. Now what I'll do is I will just add one button. So my button is here. Uh, what I'll do is I can put it here or here, wherever I want. So I have added an image. I have saved the image, which is a filter image. So I'll click on image. This is the filter icon. So I'll just double click this. I have just took it from the Google. So this is the icon, right? Wherever you want, you can keep it a little bit near. You can keep it. All right. Uh, once we have this, we need to enable the action. And once the action is enabled, we need to select the bookmark and we need to select the show slicer panel. Okay. So once we click over here, this, the button is being activated, right? And if I hold down my control and select this, okay, nothing is happening. Let me just check my configuration into the bookmark. Once again, uh, show slicer panel and where is my selection? Okay. 
so slice selected this I am unchecking this and saying update just a quick configuration if this is the issue you are facing and when you are hide this is hidden so all good now right and before I, uh, as, as I'm here I will just click on this button as well which is the slicer button I the action is enabled and here we want to have a bookmark and we want to have the height slicer panel bookmark okay so we are all done done and done all right so what do i what i will going to do is i will hold now i need to hide it so i will hold down my control key and click here so it is hidden for some reason this is also hidden which i which i can check maybe i have made it as a group but if i click it over here now your slicer is coming that's mainly what i wanted to show as to what it is but if you have published your dashboard into the power bi service then you can basically you don't have to hold down your click uh, control since i'm in a development environment that's why i'm doing it so for example the product management is selected and if i'm selecting headquarters now in that case if i if you remember i have unchecked the data option when i was configuring the bookmark if i had not checked this option and clicked it over here it would have removed this headquarters so if i hold on my control key your headquarters will still be there if i click it over here the headquarters is still there if we have not removed the uh, the data option from both these bookmarks then it would have not shown this so let me just quickly correct this um, selection panel slicer diversity ratio by year i will just put it over here i have kept it outside so if i just uncheck now everything is fine so it is coming whatever i want i can choose i can select product management i want legal and i want to hide this so this way i can save a lot of space if let's say you want to show five filters 10 filters 15 filters whatever the number of filters you want to show you can show uh, by using this panel and it looks better as well as you can see so that's what i wanted to show you in this uh, video as to how you can do the configuration let me know if you find any issue like the one which i found i just corrected it in front of you so hopefully if you find similar issue you will be able to correct it with that thank you so much for watching and i'll meet you in the next video with the new topic